Peace. This is a meat and potato sushi production star myself, the Warrior Alchemist. And today's topic for the occult family is fundamentals to a seance. So I want to talk about seances and basically what you're doing, you're giving an invitation, offering it to those who have departed and transitioned to gain some gnosis or some clarity on certain things. So I want to give people, if they choose to do this, you can do a seance and I want to give you the tips and tricks as well as the do's and do nots. So with that, let's get into it. Now, before you begin any seance, it's very important that you're clean, you're not inebriated, intoxicated, or you've ingested drugs. Don't do that because that dulls your senses. So you really want to be in control of your senses and your clear audience, all your clairs are at its peak. So don't do those things. The other thing is you can do a seance with any, I would say, from three to six people. Here's the other don't. Do not do a seance with armchair occultists. In other words, they've read a lot of books, but they're going to go by movies and basically they're going to get you in trouble. Because once they get started, then you will see that the cowardice starts to rise. And I've seen a lot of people make these mistakes because they follow the ring leader and the ring leader doesn't have any experience. They're not a seasoned occult veteran. So we definitely don't want to come in not knowing what we're doing, not doing protections. So be clean. Don't be inebriated. Also sage or use Palo Santo. Cleanse the environment as well as yourself and your tools. And also, it's important that the people that you're working with, they do the same. Now, do you need a Ouija board? No, you don't need one. It's good to have one, but you don't need it. This is my Ouija board right here. So, what's another way that you can cleanse? Another way that you can cleanse is this way. Tibetan singing bowl. This gets rid of harmful, parasitic entities, and this drives them away. Singing bowl. Now, other thing, what draws in any spirits and serves as a gateway and a portal? Candles. Also, incense helps. This incense right here is Nag Champa. Most spirits, especially those who deal with the necromantic current, they love that. Also, Hecate likes it as well as Lila. So there you go. Now, you can use a sigil and attach it to a Ouija board. Or if you don't want to use one, you can have a picture, an article of clothing, or even some jewelry because it still has an energetic imprint. Even though they may have transitioned and they passed on. So you can draw them in and pick when you want to do it. Like... Seances would be good during a new moon or a full moon. You can do it any time, but full moon, that's when occult energy is very, very good. And also, October is an occult month. So that means that the veil is thin and basically spirits are coming and going. But if all your clairs are functioning at their peak, spirits can come anytime, especially your ancestors. This is who you definitely want to call on, your ancestors, your aunt your grandmother, your grandfather, etc. So this is something that you want to do. So taking natural precautions is good. You can use the lesser banishing ritual. You can call in muscle or you can work with a angel that helps the living and the dead come together. And that is Azrael. And not to be mistaken with Azazel. Azazel is a daemon and a watcher. Azrael is an angel. So you can work with Azrael to help your family and you come together. Now, how will you know that spirit is there? Well, they can give you signs via the candles with that flickering or they can move something in the house. But the other thing is, and people leave this out, let mentor help you. You will smell something like the perfume you used to wear, or the cologne you used to wear, or you may even have a particular taste in your mouth. Even though you haven't eaten, you have a taste of food in your mouth. Cheat codes for you. So those are some of the keys with doing a seance. So with that, 
That is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.